ஆத்மார்ப்பண ஸ்துதி அதர்வைஸ் நோன் ஆஸ் உன்மத்த பஞ்சாஷத் ஆஃப்டர் ஆதிசங்கரா த வாஸ் அ கிரேட் ஸ்காலர் அண்ட் அன் இன்டர்பிரட்டர் ஆஃப் அத்வைத ஃபிலாசபி நோன் ஆஸ் அப்பைய தீக்ஷிதர் ஹி லிவ்ட் அரவுண்ட் தி ஃபிஃப்டீன்த் சென்ச்சுரி அண்ட் பிலாங் டு எ பிளேஸ் இன் சவுத்தார்கா டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு இ வாஸ் அ கிரேட் டிவோட்டி ஆஃப் லார்ட் சிவா அண்ட் ஹஸ் கம்போஸ்ட் மெனி ஹிம்ஸ் ஆன் சிவா once he felt that he has to put himself to a test as to whether his devotion to lord shiva was indeed true he thought suppose i become insane will my mouth utter the name of lord shiva if that be so then it must be real so he embarked on an experiment he made a paste of dathura seeds these seeds are poisonous and if taken in will make a person insane he also prepared an antidote to this poison he called his disciples he gave them the poisonous paste and the antidote he told them to give him the first portion for a week and write down whatever he said in that state of mind after recording this they have to give after a week the antidote that would bring him back to normalcy indeed it was a remarkable experiment to find out how serious he was about shiva the experiment started the disciples recorded what he said during that time it was a hymn on lord shiva consisting of 50 verses this is known as atmarpana stuti otherwise known as unmatta panchashat panchashat means 50 and unmatha means one who has lost his mind so it is 50 verses composed during the period when he lost his mind it is said that the two states of mind that remain pure are that of a child and that of an insane person Dikshita felt that in the state of losing his mind if he spoke things that have nothing to do with Shiva then his devotion was imperfect and that he needed to do more work and penance if his devotion was perfect then he should be still meditating on Shiva even though he had temporarily become deranged listen to this one of his most beautiful hymns in praise of lord shiva i have divided this into five sections each containing 10 verses this is the fifth and last section dealing with verses 41 50 in verses 41 to 50 dikshita says o lord shiva you have smeared your body with the ash your abode is the cremation ground and your ornaments are always only bones but no one can deny your lordliness which is established by all the shrutis act as a mendicant on the cremation ground or roam about with the bhutas 
This entire conduct of yours, which appears misleading, is well known. You are the Lord of all beings. I will not forsake your lotus feet even in dream. O oh, Pashupati, I wish to see sometime in dream your two feet, which are the splendor of lotuses in full bloom. I know that I am a sinner and that I may not have that good fortune. But still, your well-known compassion induces this hope in me. O oh Lord, sport in the cremation ground, or in an abode beyond the universe, or on Mount Kailasha, or in the valley of gems. Make me the servant of those who carry your sacred sandals and bless me with proximity to you. I do not consider anything in the three worlds to be worthy of being desired. O oh Lord, let me have happiness or sorrow as distinct. But let my mind always rest on your two feet which excel the splendor of the inside of a lotus in full bloom. After having been repeatedly engaged in composing various works of a low order with the sole object of earning my livelihood, I am now offering at your lotus feet only the remnants of praise. Thus, I have become guilty. But, O oh Sadashiva, forgive all my transgressions. Uplift me who is submerged in the ocean of suffering. I, helpless and with no other refuge, surrender only at your lotus feet with all my heart. O oh, the abode of compassion, this Atmarpana Stuti has been composed by me without my mind being totally concentrated on you. Yet protect me, considering that this helpless, miserable one is surrendering to you, at least by words. स्वप्ने वापि स्वर सविक सद दिव्य पंके रुहाभम पश्चे यंक्यम तब पशुपते पाद युग्मम कदाचित क्वाहम पापह क्वतव शरणा रुक भाग्यम तथापि प्रत्याशा में घटयति पुनः विश्रुता तेनु कंपा भिक्षा वृत्ति चर पितृवने भूत संगैर भ्रमेदम विज्ञातम ते शरीरम अखिलम विप्रलिप्सो कपारिम आवैकुंठदिल प्राणीनाश्वरस्व नाथस्वनेहमिहनुते पाद पद्म त्यजा आलेपन वसी तमसत स्मशान अस्थि नीते सततमाभरण सू निखोत मे सतकलश्रुतिपार सिद्ध ऐश्वर्यमुज भवन क्षमस्ते विविधमी गुणौघ वेदय परमित विभवा पाबराण सुरा तनुमकमौले तवतापर कति कति जगदीशा कलता नो भवेयु 
ನಿಖರ ಪಿತೃವನೇವಾ ವಿಶ್ವ ಪಾರೇ ಪುರೇವಾ ರಜತ ಗಿರಿ ತಟೇವಾ ರತ್ನ ಸ ಅನುಸ್ಥಲೇವಾ ದಿಶ ಬವದು ಪಕಂಠ ದಿ ಮೇ ಭೃತ್ಯ ಭಾವ ಪರಮ ಶಿವ ತವ ಶ್ರೀ ಪಾದುಕಾವಾಹಕಾನ ಬಲಮ ಬಲಮೀಷಾ ಬಲ್ಬಜಾನ ವಿಚಿಂತ್ಯ ಕಥಮಿ ಶಿವಕಾಲ ಕ್ಷೇಪ ಮಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ನಿಖಿಲಮಿ ರಹಸ್ಯೋನಾಥ ನಿಷ್ಕೃಷ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಸರಸಿ ಜಬವ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಸಾಧಿ ನ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ನ ಕಿಂಚಿನ್ ಮೇನೆತ ಸಮಿಲಶನೀಯ ತ್ರಿಭುವನೆ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ಮಮತು ಯದ್ಭಾವಿ ಭಗವನ್ ಸಮುನ್ಮೀಲದ್ ಪಾತೋರ್ಹಕುಹರ ಸೌಭಾಗ್ಯಮುಷಿ ಪದದ್ವಂದ್ವೇಚೇತ ಪರಿಚಯ ಮುಪೇಜಾನ್ನಮಸದ ಉದರಭರಣ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸಾಧ್ಯಬುದ್ಧಿಶ್ಯ ನೀಚೇಷು ಅವಸಕೃದುಪನಿಬದ್ಧ ಆಯಿತೋಸ್ಸಿಷ್ಟ ಭಾವ ಅಹಮಿಹ ನುತಿಭಂಗೀ ಅರ್ಪಯಿತ್ಯೋಪಕಾರ ತವ ಶರಣ ಸರೋಜೆ ತಾತಜಾತೋಪರಾಧಿ ಸರ್ವ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಗಸ್ಸ ಮಮಾಪರಾಧ ಮಗ್ನ ಸಮುದ್ದರ ಮಗತ್ಯ ಮುಮಾಪದಬ್ಧ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮನ ತವ ಪದಾಂಬುಜ ಮೇ ಬದೀನ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನ್ನನನ್ಯ ಶರಣ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ಆತ್ಮಾರ್ಪಣಸ್ತುತಿರೇಯ ಭಗವನ್ ನಿಬದ್ಧ ಯದ್ಯಪ್ಯನನ್ಯಮನಸ ನಮಯ ತಾಪಿ ವಾಚಾಪಿ ಕೇವಲಮಯ ಶರಣ ವೃಣೀತೆ ದೀನೋ ವರಾಕ ಇಕ್ಷಕೃಪಾ ದಿಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಡಿಯೋ ಬುಕ್ ದ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಡಿಯೋ ಬುಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ in the description part of this presentation.